Assalamualaikum and good morning. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to present my paper at 17th IEEE International Colloquium on Signal Processing and Application. My name is Muhammad Afif Bin Ahmad, PhD student at Faculty of Electronic and Computer Engineering, University Technical Malacca, Malaysia Malacca. Today I will present my general title, Mathematical Modeling and PID Controller Design for two dimension of freedom gimbal system. Here is the presentation outline. First, the introduction. Second, gimbal system technology. Third, problem statement. Fourth, the methodology. Fifth, the testing. Sixth, result and discussion. Lastly, the conclusion. Nowadays, Video COVID. Nowadays, video recording and photo capturing system is the highest demand application. The system has been in use in many applications of engineering such as military system, tracking system, navigation system, and surveillance. In military, we are using this application as remote sensing tools and image for video capture to gather information beyond the range of human vision. Gimbal system which is a device that makes video recording and photo capture work efficiently. Gimbal also used to mount everything from a small camera lens to a large photographic telescope. In portable photography equipment, single axis gimbal head are used in order to allow a balanced movement for camera and lenses. This system consists of two gimbals that are attached together with orthogonal pivot axis. There are several types of gimbal which is one axis, two axis and three axis. But for this research, we are focusing in two axis gimbal. Gimbal has a two main part, one inner and outer gimbal, also known as azimuth and elevation channel. For inner gimbal part contained of one camera that captured the image or target object from gyroscope sensor and one DC motor to drive the inner gimbal with certain angle. Meanwhile, one DC motor and one gyroscope sensor required on the outer gimbal. Here is a video a gimbal system from new one system. So this gimbal is rotating by its own axis. Next we go for the problem statement. For a perfect gimbal system, the setting axis should be precise focus on target point from change or fixed base and moving target. However, difficulties could come to obtain a good image from a camera that mount are the moving object due to vibration issues. 3. There is no doubt that stabilized gimbal system modeling is complex and hard to design due to disturbance affected and unsymmetrical mechanism algorithm. Based on research observation and literature, the main problem appear in the movement of the gimbal itself. This is disturbance affected such as environment factor, DC motor and gyroscope. For an example, when the gimbal placed on air, the weather or the wind speed might give a lot of effect to the gimbal. Besides that, torque disturbance may exist cause of DC motor and gyroscope in the system. Torque disturbance is the most affected on the system caused by many factors such as vibration forces, gyroscopic torque, motor, and gear re reaction, and spring torques behind, besides acceleration friction from bearing. Therefore, to eliminate the disturbance, a controller was proposed. Due to this circumstance, the best controller of the sensor line of sight, LOS, essential is implemented 
to eliminate disturbance, hence ensuring limbal stability. Here, the main purpose of this uh, research is to eliminate the disturbance from the limbal system. Here is the methodology step to evaluate this research. First, we are developing a mathematical model. Second, we are creating create a control design for gimbal system. Third is the analysis work, which is evaluate the response of the system due to this disturbance in the system. Mathematical modeling of two UF, or we call it as a dimensional of freedom, gimbal system was investigated. A gimbal system practically has several non linear like Top ripple, friction, inertia, and motor friction torque. The nonlinear equation was first constructed and be linearized to achieve the local stability of symmetrical point of the system. Here is a one of the dynamic model of a gimbal motion. At frame A, the gimbal pointing angle was considered as R axis that directly perpendicular to the sensor optical axis. The first angle which is identified as E is located at the joint between body A and B, while the second angle is located at the joint between body B and platform which is known as N. By using the rotating angle, the matrix transform can be derived as follows from Arja et al. 2018. The equation for the gimbal motion use Newton's second law. Newton's first law applied to rotation motion as such that a body does not accelerate with respect to initial frame unless a torque is applied. Numerous sources of torque disturbance can act on a real mechanism causing the excessive motion or jitter. The basic equation of motion for azimuth and elevation gimbal are directly obtained if the gimbal are considered as rigid bodies. Here is the two equation for torque and angular mo momentum. D. Elevation channel relationship. The angular moment for the elevation gimbal, which is considered as rigid body. The base is considered as static or non moving. Which is, this is uh, omega pi equals to omega pj equals to omega pk equals to zero. The total torque, external torque. Of the elevation gimbal can be accepted as a differential equation for elevation angular velocity omega ae about the e axis. So lastly, we have the two equation TD equals to EL1 and TD equals to EL2. Here is the figure of the total top elevation. Azimuth channel relationship Total angular moment for both gimbal equals to sum of angular momentum for elevation and azimuth gimbal. To get the equation for the disturbance at azimuth channel considered as a total external torque TAZ in utilizing same as elevation channel relationship. The disturbance affected on the azimuth gimbal were declared by TDAZ, where TDAZ1 is from term of TD1, simply to the top TDAZ equals to TD cos E plus TD. The following expression was calculated for the net stock affected on the azimuth gimbal. So this is the equation that we get have TDAZ1, TDAZ2, TD as at 3, TD as at 4, 
TD as a 5 and TD as a 6. This is the total top for the azimuth channel. So then we can have the uh, model block for the simulation at middle. Here is a simulation cross coupling affected on two gimbal. So here it is elevation channel and the cross coupling and we have the azimuth channel. For the stabilization gimbal system, there are two types of method. Proportional integral PID. We are using PID for two degree of freedom for this research. The try and error tuning method has been used in this case in order to find the parameter value of KP, KI and KD, which is KP for proportional, KI is the integral and KD is the derivative. The stability of DC motor here we are using North Roman company. Here is the parameter and the value and we are tested the response which means we have the transfer function and here is a pole zero map that shows that our system this function is stable then we have the gyroscope here we are using gyroscope sensor from US dynamic company here is the transfer function for the gyros gyroscope Here is the closed loop system for two axis gimbal. Here, one of the gyroscope sensor, one is our uh, azimuth and elevation system. Then we go for the testing. Here we have three tests to evaluate the stability of the gimbal against the disturbance inflicted on it. First, we are we are taking for the verification. Second test, base angular velocity effect. Third is the base angular motion effect. Test one, verification. Verification test is the use to simulate the output result for elevation and azimuth gimbal before adding the purpose controller. Figure seven and figure eight shows the uncontrolled gimbal system without PID system. Results show that response of our elevation azimuth channel is unstable. Test 2. Base angular velocity effect. Test 2 is aimed to investigate the effect of the base angular velocity to the gimbal system. The gimbal system first simulate by considering the base body is non-rotating. Here, the value of the body angular velocity frame P is set to 0. WPI, WPJ, and WPK is zero. Therefore, the elevation and azimuth channel for S1 is affected by any disturbance. The gimbal system was then tested according to the various scenario where the result obtained is summarized in the table three. In the simulation, the base angular motion is considered as fixed. So here we have the omega el and omega az is 30 degrees of second here the result and the discussion so you can see that the graph show the response of system due to various scenario why the result obtained in summarized in table 3 which is scenario from s1 to s6 Result from the table 4 show that overshoot value is increasing in proportion to the disturbance increase from S1 to S6. Other than that, the percentage overshoot elevation is higher than azimuth. The setting time for azimuth response average is 3.38 seconds faster than elevation response which is average 4.8 seconds. Test 3. Base angular motion effect. Result from, result from table 5 show that overshoot value is increasing in proportion to the disturbance increase S1 to S8. Other than that, the percentage overshoot elevation is higher than azimuth. 
The setting, settling time for Elizabeth respond average is almost same as elevation. Here we are changing from uh, omega EL and omega EZ to 60 degrees per second. Here is the result and the response of the azimuth and elevation channel. Conclusion A two axis gimbal system was proposed and formulated using Newton, Newton's second law in this paper. The design of the stability loop was implemented and the principle of cross coupling and dynamic ambulance was achieved. The equation for motion and gimbal were derived and apply according to the dynamic mass and balance in two formulation. The PID controller can say that the best control approach because it can provide the reducing the steady state error until zero and minimize the rise time they can have give fast response and no oscillation and great stability. One of the highest benefit of PID controller is the control can control can be used with complex order process. Based on the simulation on figure 9 and 11, following from the conclusion can be drawn as the overshoot of the gimbal system response in elevation and azimuth is increased when we increase the body angular velocity for frame P at table 5. The system overshoot of gimbal in elevation is higher than azimuth when increasing the angular frame P, it is because of the cross coupling. Compare from table 4 and table 5, when changing the value of omega EL and omega EZ equals to 30 second to 60 degrees per second, the spawn overshoot is increased due to increase of the value. For the further research works, the mathematical modeling found in this research is only considered about top disturbance, momentum and inertia. There is still a lot of disturbance might be affected by the gimbal system, such as a gimbal friction that can be calculated for the next research. Acknowledgement. The author would like to acknowledge the Faculty of Electronic and Computer Engineering University of Technical Malaysia, Malacca, for this contribution. This is my reference for this research. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.